Well, welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, it's TPMS time, folks, and I'll tell you what, we brought out the big gun, the TPMS monitor tool by ATEC. Well, first of all, what is TPMS? Well, just what it says, tire pressure monitor system. It looks at the tire pressure, and you can see right here I have a rim, and inside of your rim, there's your valve stem right there, so if I turn this around, you're going to have a sensor in there. Now, it could be an indirect or a direct system. This one's actually a direct reading. The sensor's located right there. It may be a banded sensor around the rim, but some way, shape, or form, you have a sensor inside of there under your tire that's actually reading tire pressure. Well, why do we want to do that? Well, when it's going low, it actually turns on that little light on your dash. You can look at your dash and look at all your tires. You have to go out there and solve the problem. Now, on our car, or if you get tires rotated, every time you rotate a tire, that moves. Well, it has to know the position. So you're going to have to go through a learned procedure so it knows the position of where the tires are. Well, this car, you can't even rotate the tires because they're directional and they're different sizes. But we did replace them as a set. So we had to go ahead and ID them, and now we're going to go ahead and learn them. Really simple to do. Our TPMS tool, our ATEC tool here, it's right here on the screen. We're going to go into the service mode. I click OK. Once I do that, well, I can scan the actual VIN, which is cool. Bam, pop up the car automatically, or I'm just going to go ahead and do it manual to show you some of the options. There's the Chevrolet Chrysler. I can scroll through to all the make and models, hit enter. Bammo. There's our Camaro. There's a Blazer, Corvette, all the different makes and models that Chevy offers. I would just go to it and pick it. I'm going to pick the Camaro. That's the one. Now it's asking me what kind of sensor it has. Select it. And then I have a chance to go through the onboard diagnostic port. If I don't have a learn procedure, I can even do that. Well, this one, I have a learn procedure, but I don't know what it is. So I can click it right here. And this is pretty cool because I can look and it'll tell you exactly what to do. It says to put it on. And I got Brian inside the car. So we're we're just going to follow the procedure. Hey, Brian, you give me a hand. This tool says exactly what to do to get it into that learn mode. I'm all set, man. All right, awesome. Well, obviously, we'll put the parking brake on to be safe. Done. Then you want to turn the ignition on. Don't start the car. Done. It says to go into the menu and push the vehicle select button in the menu. Done. All right, information in the DIC, which is the Driver Information Center. Use the arrow keys to get down to the tire pressure monitor system. I'm there. You're there? Awesome, now I want you to push the set and control button, hold it in, and then hopefully you'll get to a screen that says something about relearn. Yep, I'm here. All right, well once you're there, now I want you to go ahead and hold that button. Bingo, Learn now mode. that's that easy, I can just hit okay here. Well, the car just gave me an audible cue that it's time to go ahead and shoot them, and that's the beauty of this tool. I can do it in a matter of seconds, check this out. I'm just gonna go down here where the valve stem is, hit it. Once I hit it, I'm going to move to the next tire. And I'm going to go through all the tires now. I watched Brian one time run around the shop. He had these things done in about 30 seconds, man. This thing works great. Now what's going on here? Here's the valve stem. I'm actually shooting through the tire up the valve stem right here, trying to hit that sensor in there. It's going to give me an audible cue. There it is. Go to the next wheel. Come on to the back wheel. Same thing. Hit it again. Audible cue. And then I'm going to come around to the last wheel back here. And when I do that, hopefully it'll give me an audible cue that, hey, I'm good, I'm ready to go. There it is. And there's the double honk. That tells me that the system's complete and it's good. Now you can look back at the tool, which is really cool. It also ID'd all the sensors right there. It showed me the PSI in the tire and what frequency and hertz and that the battery's okay or not okay. I'm hoping it's okay. We just replaced them all with some sensors from rockauto.com. Everything's in good shape in this car. I'll tell you what, man, we're ready to take this one out, but stick around. We're gonna talk about the actual LS build. We're gonna wrap things up, man. We need to check that engine out. We'll be back with more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com.